Russian troops attempted to advance in the Slovyansk direction near Debrivna and Novodmitrivka, in the Avdiivka direction near Opotne, Krasnohorivka, Peromaiske and Snevelske, in the Zaporizhia direction near Vremivka. The Ukrainian military repulsed these attacks. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported partial success of the enemy offensive near Blahodatna in the Mykolaiv region. In the Kramatorsk direction, shelling was recorded near Rozdolivka, Rihorivka, Verkhnyokamenske, Dronivka and Serebrianka. The enemy is trying to conduct an offensive in the direction of Spirnevesele. The fighting continues there. In the Bakhmut direction, the enemy fired at the areas of Solidar, Zaitseva and Bilohorivka settlements using barrel artillery and multiple launch rocket systems. The enemy attacked in the Varshina Kodema and Gladosova Kodema directions but had no success. Fighting continued in the directions of Stryapevka Solidar, Pokrovsky Bakhmut, Maiske Kodema, Semihirya, Zaitseva and Gladosova Kurdyumivka. The 180th day of Russian war against Ukraine began for Kharkiv residents with missile attack. According to preliminary information, there were three arrivals. Again a missile attack and again on the Kyivsky district. Continuing their practice of night shelling at 2.49 am, our enemy fired from the direction of Belgorod at an infrastructure facility. A two-story building was destroyed, a small fire broke out. There is no information about casualties. Igor Terkhov, Kharkiv mayor on Telegram. The Russian troops shelled Mykolaiv overnight with S-300 surface-to-air missiles. Tentatively, at 3 a.m. Mykolaiv was shelled again. As a result, the cafe caught fire, and it is also known about a hit on the territory of the Enterprise. Preliminary, no casualties were reported. Information about the consequences of the destruction is being clarified. Vitaly Kim, head of the Mykolaiv Regional Military Administration on Telegram. The Russian army also shelled the Dnipropetrovsk region. Senelniko, Nikopol and Krylirich districts were shelled with heavy weapons. Nikopol was shelled three times with Grad multiple launch rocket systems and barrel artillery during the night. 42 Russian shells hit residential areas. Preliminary four elderly residents of Nikopol were wounded. Two of them are hospitalized. Two houses in the city were destroyed and almost 50 were ruined. A kindergarten, stores, pharmacies, markets, a court and a bus station were damaged by enemy shells. Five fires broke out as a result of the shelling. Firefighters have already extinguished the fire. Power lines were put out of action. Up to 2,000 people are without electricity supply. Electricians are working on the site. Valentin Reznichenko, head of the Dnipropetrovsk Regional Military Administration on Telegram. Nighttime shelling woke up residents of Kostantinivka and Storetsk in the Donetsk region. Residential buildings and a school were targeted by the Russian army. Another school in the Donetsk region was targeted by the Russians. This time it was Kostantinivka school number 17. The Russians struck the school around 4 a.m. The building was seriously damaged, but no one was wounded. In addition, tonight there was a missile strike on Torezk. No casualties, but there are damaged houses. Pavlo Kirilenko, head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration on Telegram. There were reports on social networks about explosions in the temporarily occupied Crimea. It was heard in Sevastopol, Saki, Yevpatoria, Novofedorivka and Bakhchi Sarai. In the south of Ukraine, units of the armed forces destroyed two enemy S-300 surface-to-air missile systems and also struck a stronghold and a concentration of manpower and equipment. This was reported by the Operational Command South. The occupation troops lost 20 soldiers, one Gyatsint S self-propelled gun, a Msta S self-propelled howitzer, two S-300 surface-to-air missile systems, one illumination and guidance radar station, and a Nebo M mobile radar complex for detecting aerodynamic and ballistic objects, two 120 caliber towed mortars, and three units of armored vehicles. Final enemy casualties are being figured out.
The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reminds that the threat of missile attack on military facilities and critical infrastructure facilities on the territory of Ukraine persists not only from the territory of Russia, Belarus and the temporarily occupied Ukrainian territories, but also from the sea. There are five missile carriers and a large landing ship on standby in the Black Sea. They are ready to launch more than 30 caliber missiles. Reported by Roman Smoller, Valeria Nikipelova, UATV News.